Okay, folks, welcome once again to here at the Victorian Caravan and Camping Super Show 2015. And I'm here with a good mate of What's Up Down Under, Mark from Blue Water Camper Trails. How are you, mate? Mate, I'm very well. How's yourself? I'm very good. Now, you don't just do camper trailers. There should be camper trailers and swags. That's right, yes. We have a full range of swags as well. Yeah. What stand are you guys on at the show? For the guys who are watching us out the front here, where would they see your campers? Uh, they'll find us out on sw- Site 106. Site 106. And you've got, how many you've got on the show here today? Uh, this show, we have eight on show. Eight on show. But yep. you've got nine models. Yes, that's right. I couldn't fit the last one in. <laughs> you have to get a slightly bigger stand next time, yep. right? Um, so you also do swags. You don't have them at the show. No. Um, no. So uh, what, what's the sort of the range like in the, in the swag department? Uh, we do your traditional sorts and we go all the way up to the proper dome types uh, swags. Uh, yep. and we do all the different sizes from singles all the way through to your big king doubles. Yep. I'll come back to the swags in a sec because um, I want to find out where, where people can find out more about those things in the future. Yep. Um, now you guys, uh, well, I'd like to say relative newcomers, but you sort of are and you sort of aren't. You've actually been around about five years, haven't you? Yeah, that's right. We started off as a small business and uh, have just slowly grown throughout the years. We're now based out in Packenham. We've just had to buy another factory, so things are starting to move along now. Yep. And we're currently looking at going interstate. Uh, we'll be setting up outlets in uh, Perth and just north of Brisbane and shortly one in uh, Albury. Now, you've picked them pretty wisely, haven't you? Because let's face it, the Queenslanders love their camper trailers and, uh, and swags and stuff like that. And so do the guys out, out in the Western Australia. Oh, that's right. We actually get a lot of inquiry through our website from both those states, so it was going to be the first places to go. Yeah, with fait accompli, I guess, if that's the way it's going to go. Yep. Um, now, you do, you do hard and soft floor campers. And obviously that, that stretches out across the range. What, what do you find is probably more popular at the moment, soft or hard? In the last 12 months, I'd have to say the hard floor campers are becoming more popular, particularly our forward folding model. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Uh, I think it's coming down to ease of setup. Yeah. Uh, and that it's now, uh, over, it's now reaching a more older group of people, you might say. Um, well, I guess they like camper trails, but they want to do it a little easier. That's yeah. right. And you've got a bit of a living accommodation area inside. You've got seating inside. So it's more akin to a caravan, yeah. but able to go where a camper trailer can. So can you chuck on things like awnings and annexes that make it look like the Taj Mahal? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. How, yep. big, how big can they get? Uh, they can get quite big. Our biggest annex would be 8 metres long by 2.4 wide, and then you'd have an additional room on the edge there as you shower in your ensuite. That's oh, nearly long enough. To, nearly long enough to have a putting green on the <laughs> in, uh, inside right. of the inside of the tent there. So, so if you, I guess if you if your families as well, you really want the space. Um, so you've got room for everybody. Yep, that way you can always get in one of our swags too and lie out the front there and uh, get the kids in the annex. Yeah, I reckon that's where you crock it. Go camp up somewhere near the crocodile infested waters and put the kids outside <laughs> the uh, annex in a swag. And see how long they last. It's I reckon not a bad way to do it. So. <laughs> Now you talked about forward and rear folding campers. Um, call me a little naive, but I've seen a lot of rear folding campers, but not a lot of forward folding campers. So explain that to me. How does that work? Yeah, the forward folding concept's pretty new. It's only been around about five years now. Yep. Um, the idea of it is it sets up over the front of the drawbar, and so therefore your footprint of the camper doesn't get any bigger. Uh, that means that in a rear fold camper, you've got to basically account for 2.4 metres of space behind you when you're back into a site. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the forward folds, because they forward fold over the drawbar, your sleeping accommodation area is up on the top of the drawbar, so up nice and high off the ground. Yeah. And the side effect is you get a lounge space inside the camper as well. Well, yeah, hey, yeah, that's a great idea. What an awesome idea. So all undercover. Yep. So you can have a... Um, so wh- how does that work? So you fold the thing forward, and um, have you got an additional sleeping space in the back? So that would be good for families then too, wouldn't it? Yes, right. Yeah, our table folds down to create another le- uh, bed space, which is good for your younger kids until they're big enough to get outside. Yeah, and the sooner the better. You know, if it's rocking, no bother knocking, <laughs> that kind of thing. You need, everyone needs a bit of privacy after a while. That's right. For that matter, there's a privacy screen in there as well too. Oh, lovely. Excellent. Excellent. There'll be a lot of happy people out there who want to hear about that. Um, okay, so you're Aussie-owned and operated. When you say it was a family business... Um, who's the family? So there's you, Mark. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I'm the manager of the business, but there's two owners. Uh, and one of the owners has just moved over to Perth to set up our other arm. And the current owner here is just based in Packenham with us. Yeah, nice. So um, um, you got kids of your own, just out of curiosity? Uh, no, mate. I've, I'm too I've busy. Sort of, yeah, too busy yeah. travelling, really. <laughs> I've, I've spent most of my days travelling about Australia. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so you, do you go to a lot of the shows? I mean, uh, obviously you've currently got the one location, you're looking at others. 
But do you go to a lot of the, the caravan camping four-wheel driving shows around the country? Yeah, we do. We list them all on our website so people can keep track of us. Uh, but last year, towards the end of last year, we've done 15 shows. So 15 we try shows. and get around as much well, as we that'd can. That would keep you pretty busy, wouldn't it? So Yeah, it's almost a travel and road show. Yeah, well, you probably couldn't afford to have a family, mate. They'd never see you <laughs> if you're spending that, <laughs> that long away from home. True. Uh, Packenham as, as, a, as a place is actually becoming quite a hub for camper trailer caravan manufacturers. I know Avan's out there, Jurgen's out there. Uh, it's sort of growing, isn't it? Goldstream RVs out there, and, and you're out there too. Yeah, and uh, it seems there's quite a few others in the wind that are heading in our way also. Well, it's becoming the new Campbellfield, mate. That's so correct, yeah. The new powerhouse of caravan and camping in Australia out there. So, um, okay, so you, you said you've got eight campers on display, but you've got nine campers. What, what's sort of the price range of your campers? Where would, where would people start and where, where might they finish? Uh, our cheapest camper starts off at 8500 for a soft floor. It's a soft floor, yeah. Yep, and that's with a seven-foot Australian-made diner-proof tent. Wow. Yep. Then we move up to nine and a half for a 12-foot Australian-made tent. Yep. And then from there we go all the way right up to 22 and a half whilst we're here at the show for the forward fold and our big rear fold, again, with the Australian-made diner-proof canvas. All right. So things like, uh, I know you said that they're imported camper trailers, and there's obviously occasionally a little bit of controversy revolves around that. Um, but when we were talking earlier, you pointed out that you, you've gone through the process of elimination, I guess, if you like. Yeah, that's and right. We've, we've been through our fair share of manufacturers over time. We've had our pro quality concern issues as time's gone by. Uh, but in recent times, we've hooked up with a very good manufacturer and uh, they're available to us at any given time we need them. Yep. Uh, we do a lot of regular visits over there to keep quality control in check. Uh, and we've managed to evolve the campers quite a lot and we sort of pride ourselves on trying to do things right with our camper trailers. We spend a lot of time underneath the camper trailers. We don't use any imported running gear, the wheel bearings and such, that all gets disused. We yep. like to use quality stuff like SKF bearings. Uh, we like to run 12 inch brakes. Yep. And we like to set up all our suspension in house too, which is my background. Well, I noticed you also mentioned the canvas. that. Um you stay true to, to, true to the Australian colours by using an Australian-made canvas. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we've had a lot to do with canvas over the years. We've been making swags now for 25 years, so we've had our ups and downs with Chinese canvas. Um, we've tried the imported stuff from India. Yeah. The biggest problem we seem to have is zippers, and particularly when you think of your annex zipper, which can be six metres long. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, when something goes wrong with that, that's a fair job to replace that. So it's not just about the Australian canvas for us, it's also about the YKK zippers, the better quality zippers. Uh, yep. We also use better quality midgy mesh that actually works for Australian conditions. Yeah, yeah. So it's a lot more involved than just the stigma against the Chinese canvas. So, so you spent the last five years flying a little bit under the radar because you've been perfecting your product. Yeah, exactly right. Yep. And now your head's above the turret, mate, and you're ready to fire and you've got a great product. Yep, um, and we're about to launch it everywhere we can. Absolutely, mate. That's fantastic. So um, for the people who are watching us online and, uh, and they want to find out more about you, what's the best website that they can go to to have a look at? Uh, they'll find us at bluewatercampers.com.au. Yep, bluewatercampers.com.au, folks. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, we'll make sure you got a Facebook page, right? Uh, not as yet, but I have a young lady working out. By the for time us we current. put this online, I'll make sure he's got a Facebook page. You just click on the link above, and we'll make sure that you like his page while we're at it, because that's something you're going to go home and do that now My for word. me. All right? Okay. Um, don't forget the price ranges are really good, especially at the shows. Anywhere between eight and a half up to twenty-two and a half thousand, depending on what you want. Um, you guys, congratulations! Five years. Five years. Um, you know you've made it when you get to five years, which is a really good thing. And, uh, and we love to see an Aussie company uh, doing such a good job, mate. Oh, thank you very much. So Thanks, Mark. Thanks for coming in. Cheers. Cheers. What's up down under?